shaken brain with every hard hit to the head. Even if you don't get a concussion, a new study in the journal Brain adds to evidence that it's these high impact hits that lead to CTE. Chronic traumatic encephalopathy. This Dr. Peter McAllister of the New England Institute for Neurology and Headache says studies are getting closer to understanding the root of this disease that can rob athletes and veterans of brain power. We're starting to hear more and more about folks who have had many, many sub-concussive hits over the course of a football career, and then they're having dementia, depression, agitation, aggression. Some of them have taken their lives, and when we look at their brains, their brains look like Alzheimer's patients. Interference of nerve cells. This cross-section of a brain on the right shows dark yellow where scientists say head trauma likely caused heavy tau protein to deposit and a buildup of amyloid and other disruptive proteins. And while a study last year of the brains of former football players who had neurological issues when they died showed all but one had CTE, symptoms of the disease were first noted in boxers in the 1920s. Dr. McAllister says while head trauma may be the cause of CTE, certain genes from both parents can boost your risk. A lot of those CTE, chronic traumatic encephalopathy patients, have the ApoE4 and 4, the two bad genes. So for example, if I were going to be a boxer, which takes a lot of hits to the head over a career, I would probably check my ApoE genetic test. And if I was four and four, if I had the two bad genes that would increase my risk for chronic traumatic encephalopathy or Alzheimer's, I would not box. Looking ahead, Dr. McAllister says research projects will aim to better identify CTE and treat the disease, in part by removing the problematic proteins from CTE patients' brains. With Brain News Brief at NEINH, I'm Gillian Neff.